3D printing's technology, global popularity, is actually due to economic factors. The technology itself has been in development for 20 to 30 years and is a key trend within globalization. Many countries exist to create employment for their people, and the best way to do that is through manufacturing. The second industrial revolution was automation and large-scale production. The components are very similar to each other, so they are produced in the world's factory. The mobile phone is one such example. Or take false teeth. As every tooth has a different function, it is more suited to local production. 3D printing can completely automate the production of different components. Manufacturing can also take place anywhere to provide local job opportunities. That is why it has so much global support. Governments all want to provide their people with the most effective job opportunities. Once the manufacturing industry shifts away from economics of scale, the digitization, socialization, the uniqueness of the products and application of new materials in the manufacturing industry will bring on a third industrial revolution. 3D printing technology will play a critical role in this change. Everyone in the world is backing this industry, including the U.S. and Germany with Reindustrialization 4.0. Korea has great ambitions for this industry and announced its intention to have 10 million 3D printing users in Korea by 2020. The current Korean population is around 80 million, so 10 million is around 12.5 percent of the population. In other words, one in every eight people will be a 3D printing user. They are therefore very ambitious indeed. During the information digitization age 20 years ago, the printer allows data compliant on computers to be printed, enabling the free flow of information and ideas. Today, all industrial and creative products can now be given shape more quickly and more precisely through 3D printing by changing the printing material. By turning customization into self-manufacturing, everyone can now manufacture their own ideas. We are a distributor for 3D scanning and printing technologies. Our customers are industries such as automotive, footwear, jewelry and toys. Most of the demand is for industrial products. We have been in this industry for 18 years and the market has kept growing steadily. The digitization of manufacturing means we already have 3D files, models, processing and manufacturing. In the past, parents sent their kids off to daycare or creative hubs to play with dough or Lego. Today's kids are practically born with a tablet in hand, and they play with so-called digital Lego and dough. Once all creativity is digitized, an output unit for digital creativity is needed, and that is where the 3D printer comes in. Our situation today is similar to 20 years ago. If we want to make creative 3D digital models, the software is hard to use. This makes digitizing our ideas very difficult. When there was no output device for ideas, most people did not bother with making 3D digital models. Now that there is a need, we realize we do not have all the tools. So for the hottest industries in the next five years, we predict one will be 3D printers. The other and the more important one will be the modeling industry. Apple has a patent for something similar. You draw a circle on the iPad, then pull it up by touching three, four points to make a cylinder. Pull it into a single point gives you a cone. That's basically playing with ideas and Lego. Apple is already working on what we call rapid modeling. In Taiwan, there are three public companies that entered this industry relatively early. The largest is the New Kimpo Group. Its turnover is over 800 billion, and New Kimpo itself is worth 300 to 400 billion. It made a large investment in 3D printing developing by setting up XYZ Printing. Extensive investment over 1.5 years produced four to five machines. And not just the machines either. It is also cloud enabled. So even if you do not know how to build models, you can search the cloud for free or paid models to edit. 
This created a complete 3D industry chain. New Kimpo is using its advantage from making 2D printers and consumer electronics to move into 3D printing and build up a global brand. The second company is Microjet. That specialized in making print heads for inkjet printers. They combined print head, powder, and binders to create a color 3D color printers. Their business model is to focus on developing the China market. Apart from the huge market offered by China, China is also competing with the U.S. to become the industry leader. The other company is Young Optics, a subsidiary of Cortronic. About half of all projectors in the world are probably made by Cortronic. When it comes to projection-based 3D printers, nobody does it better than Young Optics right now. It was probably the first to set up an automated production line for 3D printers. This guarantees quality and reduces price, so represents the first step in the popularization of 3D printing. Some of these three companies are continuing with OEM or ODM, and some want to build their own brand. There are therefore three different business models. If you ask me which will succeed, I do not know. We can, however, see the drive in these companies. There is no doubt in my mind that the 3D printer and 3D printer industries will take off in Taiwan. Simplifying operations, reducing costs, and mass adoption are all phases that every new industry goes through. 3D printing today has extensive applications such as medical devices, aerospace, automotive, toys, and cultural creativity. Every country and different companies are leveraging their industrial strength and specializations in a rush to invest in 3D printing. Our company started out making the pitot tube. It is used by jet fighters to measure their speed, and we have more than 20 years of experience from national defense to other applications. In the beginning, we work with the military, government and research institutions, so we have a lot of top research talent. Our company's emphasis is on different materials. This cultural creativity industry combines customization and originality, so it is one way we can go. Our 3D printer uses A4 paper as the output material. Its number one feature is full color. Its number two feature is its environmental friendliness. And the number three feature is ease of access. Our machine makes it very strong and hard as well. Our company started out in CNC metal processing machinery. Our background in precision machinery manufacturing means that 3D printers we make will be more precise than other manufacturers without our background. Our production is currently focused on desktop models because it offers more material possibilities. What we usually see is BLA or ABS plastic, so the product is hard. Using different printing materials, our 3D desktop printer can make soft and flexible products like this. The 3D printer is still in the early stages of development. It will continue to mature until one day, end products can be made by anyone at home. We are in talks with XYZ New Kimpo as well. We have already created a model, so giving a 3D printer away with every mobile is not only possible, but doable. When we can make this happen in the future, I am sure it will make the whole world sit up and take notice of us. We are very innovative because we have the advantage in electronics and can combine it with 3D printers. We will not be limited to just the projector type. Mental 3D printing upgrades prototyping to actual product fabrication, so it should boost industry value. The laser is the key in active manufacturing. The Active Manufacturing and Laser Application Center of ITRI Sovereign Region Campus focuses on mental 3D printing. Complete up, mid and downstream industry have now formed creating a laser active manufacturing industry cluster for stimulating the growth of 3D printing in Taiwan. Germany is probably the current leader in powder bed fusion, or PBF, right now. 
Taiwan is also among the best. Our technology can achieve a density of 99.6 to 99.7% right now. Bulk material usually has a strength of around 1,200 megapa. For mold steel, our 3D printed end product can achieve 1,100 plus or minus 50 megapa. So it is actually usable. The success of any industry depends on its applications. No application means no opportunities. So a key application is essential. Take an industry like laser printer manufacturing. The laser source and drum are two critical components that together account for over 60% of the product cost. Their profit margins are also very high. If we cannot make these critical components ourselves, we will be forced to buy these costly critical components from other people. Our profit margins on each printer we sell will be very slim as well. For the laser industry, our focus in localization is on fiber lasers, nanosecond lasers, picosecond lasers, hybrid pico nanosecond lasers, and fetosecond lasers. We make all four types. ITRI is the only place in the world to have made the hybrid pico nanosecond laser with two pulses in one laser unit. Other countries need two lasers, one for picosecond laser and one for nanosecond laser. The light must then be combined to achieve this effect. With ours, a single laser can make two pulses. It can also be adjusted to put the picosecond or nanosecond pulse in front. This produces good results. It is also not as expensive as buying two units. So this is a really great setup. We are promoting laser sources by supporting the creation of new companies. This year, for example, we helped set up Cyber Laser Taiwan Incorporated. We do this to build up support for critical components. By forming this company to produce laser sources, other companies will come and use it. We want to create a complete industry chain because the industry then becomes organic and alive. In the next few years, we will see more and more 3D printing related applications. They will also become an increasing part of our everyday lives too. Based on the aggressive investment in each country and their tremendous ambitions in lab industry, we can be very certain that 3D printing will herald the third industrial revolution and bring about strong global economic growth.